Hi, my name's Thomas Martinez, and I've had a lot of hobbies over the years that I fit in between my full-time job as a tattoo artist. But now, it's time for my journey into the pursuit of speed and adventure. I am the Cycling Tattooist. So, hi guys. Really looking forward to today's ride. After spending all week on Zwift, I'm finally going to be getting outside for a ride and not just staring at a wall. Also, I'm going to be meeting my mate Ed and riding with him. So, yeah, that'll be nice. So, the route that we had planned was a fairly decent one. We was going to do a 100km ride today. But I spoke to Ed this morning and he's just really not feeling it. I think he had a bit of a big week on the bike, uh, as did I. Um, so yeah, we're both not feeling 100%. When I checked my whoop this morning, I had a 32% recovery score, which is pretty much one of my lowest of all time. So yeah, probably best that we take it easy today. Now with that, I've quickly sat here and done a new route, uh, which is just over 80 kilometers. It's in the same direction towards Braintree that we had planned. It's just a little bit shorter. So yeah, I know Ed hasn't been on any of those roads before, so that'd be a nice treat for him. Right, I'm gonna get going because I'm running behind schedule. So I'm gonna quickly get ready and go meet Ed. Managed to drag Ed out, didn't we? Two tired bastards on the road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me and Ed decided it was a good idea to go out, both of us feeling like crap. Yeah. So, this get, is going to be a fun one. Get a little aerobic one in. We've got uh, three hours planned out. Should be fun. Going up towards Braintree Way. Ed's never been that way. No. So, thought I'd treat him to some <laughs> nice new roads. So yeah, let's get it done. So we're 15 miles in, doing all right. We've got about another 35, I think, to go. How are you feeling, Ed? All good. All good. Weird, a bit hot. Yeah, I'm a bit I'm hot. I'm a bit hot, actually. Yeah. It's uh, after having all this shit weather we've had, I'm a bit, uh, I'm just not used to this one. <laughs> right, just, uh... It's caught me off guard. Just admiring the nice houses down here, aren't we? Yeah, beautiful. Dreaming. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no business. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Business shut. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Ed runs and owns Rom Gym in Leon C. He uh, he uh, kindly gave me a nice little pep talk message on my Everesting video, if you remember that. Yeah, with Alex. Uh, yeah, with Alex Dowsett. But um, we're both. Yeah. Unfortunately, same as me, we both can't really work at the minute because, yeah, Ed's uh, yeah. not allowed to 
not allowed to open his gym, which obviously sucks. But yeah. Not long, Tom, not long. Yeah, hopefully soon. Hopefully. We uh, both can get back to work. Might mean a little bit less riding, but I'm gonna we'll carry it. Yeah, we'll Especially still. In the summer. Yeah, oh yeah, mate. I can't wait for the summer. But yeah, got my nice little descent that I like coming up. So <laughs> gonna take Ed for a spin down the hill. All right. What kind of gradient? Down yeah. the hill. <laughs> <laughs> After that exhilarating ride down the hill, now we're having to ride through a puddle. No! <laughs> Two hours spit shine. Oh. Not quite summer, Tom. No, not yet. How'd you like that descent, Ed? Yeah, it's fucking good. It's Just, fun. Uh, don't know the corners too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for a uh, waiting for a car to reverse out the drive. That's no, good because this is all uh, uncharted for me, so it makes a nice change. Yeah, we, uh, in a minute, when we start getting a little bit more towards Braintree Way, it does get really nice. The, the roads are so much better than around our way. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. I feel like I feel like the guy that is part of the council around there must be a road bike rider. Because <laughs> uh, he seems to really look after the roads. over halfway now doing all right with our pacing considering we wasn't feeling very strong that's all good uh yeah hour and, a, in, hour and a half 28 miles so yeah let's keep cracking on so i'll tell you what recently i uh i decided to have a little play around with my cleat position it's done wonders for my knee has it yeah i uh got fed up of having that niggle yeah and uh, yeah, I thought I'd experiment and it's worked so good. What have you done to him? I just literally twisted the cleat ever so slightly so my knee was sort of straightened up a little bit, you know? Yeah. And uh, I think that must have been a problem. I think my, my foot was maybe just angled in ever so slightly. Yeah, man. That's... And it's mad how much difference, a little tiny degree or two or whatever. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. 
So yeah, we're happy with that. Fucking great news. You've, uh, you have some pretty bad problems with your knee, didn't you? Yeah, it's off and on. I mean, last time we went out, I was in agony, but now I'm touch wood. Okay, but that's why I ride the ovals. The oval chain rings. Oh, yeah. Because it's just, there's constant pressure on the pedal then, and, uh, well, not the pedal, the stroke. So for me, it's, it just means I've got to keep working, and there's no dead spots. So I just find it easier. I've always been sort of uh, intrigued into the oval chain rings, but I've never had a go. I mean, I do notice a difference, because last time we went out, I was on my winter bike, wasn't I? And I had just normal chain rings on that. Now I'm on the summer bike. Yeah, it's, there's no issue at all. I sometimes get it when I get off, but now I'm on, you know, all is good, man. Yeah, like, nice. Happy days. Yeah, mate. Come on, son. There's a little bit. Almost coming out. Now, I hope you've got anti glare on that, Tom, because my ginger beard in the sun. <laughs> it's going to blow up your lens, mate. <laughs> Not far off now. Both our legs are feeling it. Yeah, my butt cheeks are dead. <laughs> <laughs> my legs oh. are trashed. Oh, it's been a tough week. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is why I wish I had your mate's e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it you done yesterday, Ed? For your legs to be smashed a bit? Just did some nasty intervals there. Uh, overs oh. and unders. Oh yeah. So tempo threshold just above threshold to zone five damn back, back <laughs> down to tempo back up to zone five repeat that four times so it's basically three 20 minute blocks yeah yeah my legs are <laughs> trash absolutely That's, that sounds brutal, yeah, brutal. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah we're on the home stretch now uh, what have we got probably We've got like five miles left or something like that. Yeah, I'm 53 and a half in. Oh, okay. Ed keeps banging on about pancakes. Yeah, boy. So I think I'm gonna have to have some pancakes when I get home now. Pancake day in the week, Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was pancake day in the week. <laughs> I did a superb flip, may I add. Oh, I saw that, <laughs> Your face, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway. We're gonna get ourselves home and uh, eat some pancakes. <laughs> yeah, boy.
everyone. Nice ride to me, you Ed. Yeah, cheers, bro. Air one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'll leave it as long next no, time, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, mate. I'm there. So that was a fun one with Ed today. Really enjoyed it. Was certainly a welcome change from sitting on Zwift all week. Forgot how nice it was to get outside and have a nice social ride. Keeping it nice and easy in zone two throughout was exactly what the doctor ordered for both of us. So yeah, it was a perfect way to end the week. Hopefully next time me and Ed ride together, we'll both be on better form and we'll be riding at a bit better of a pace so yeah i'm all cleaned up i've got the bike washed so i'm gonna leave you guys there i'm gonna go make something to eat i'm starving i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did then please go hit that like button if you're not doing so already then please go subscribe if you're on instagram then you can go follow us it's at the cycling tattooist or if you've got anything you want to see you can hit us up in the comments section so until next time i'll see you guys later